this is it. You know, you've been seeing me for the past 14 days rating the top videos that have come in in the Tauntine Top 15 Video Contest. As a casting director, you know, people always ask, oh, well, what do I put in my home tape? What do I do? You know, it needs to have a little bit of everything. And this particular video did. It told a story, it was funny, it was creative, and you could see that this person could actually be on the show. So the number one Tauntine video is Rick. Rick, you're going to see Rob Mariano in a couple days with a nice fat check for $10,000. Congratulations, Rick. Well done. My name is Rick Henry, and I will win time team. But what if I can't? Stop talking like that. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Hey, what do you got? <clears throat> well, thanks for seeing me on such short notice. Um, I've been dodging this bullet for quite some time. Uh, a few weeks back, my wife and I were walking through the mall, and they had open casting calls for this show called Tunting, which is a reality show. And basically, it's an opportunity to be challenged both physically and mentally on all seven continents. And uh, the most difficult part of all of this is well you know we've been working together for for a while now and i really appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that i have here at the company i don't want to jeopardize any of that um but i'm going to need 100 days off what the f are you talking about hi i'm rick henry well he's rick henry Tontine audition number 100192 in a second, you'll learn a brief history about him and why he will make a great contestant on the show. Rick Henry. Rick Henry of Chris. He is Rick Henry. Rick Henry. It's Eric Romine. Spent some time with him and has his story. Ran from Chicago to St. Louis, back to Chicago. He'll run about 45 miles a day. Why? Because I can. Right off the bat, I feel like I'm right for the show because... I already sort of live my life in a Tuntine fashion. Possession is everything, but it's not just possession of materialism, like possession of money, possession of car, possession of house. I believe it's possession of knowledge, possession of ability, and when you combine all of these different types of possession, you have the ability to give. I've always had an athletic background, and here within the last uh, 10 years I would say I've really hit the pinnacle of my athleticism. In 1998 I ran a thousand miles, I ran from Chicago to St. Louis and back in 30 days for a little boy that was dying with neuroblastoma. Um, I have a history of working with charitable organizations for kids. I've developed a certain image where people really think I'm prone to helping. And I can't say I know where it comes from, it's just something I learned to live with. I'm awaiting the birth of my first son, and he's going to be born while I'm actually on Tontine and away for 100 days, and I'm actually using Tontine as an opportunity to put this thing together, this thing of family together, in a way that is huge. I love flying airplanes. Um, to me, I've always wanted to be an astronaut ever since I was a little boy, and I've been a pilot, uh, private pilot for over 20 years. Um, I love to play guitar. Um, everything I've done is, is risky. Waking up in the morning for me is risky. Just because I don't really carry myself in the usual and customary. I've been asked by a lot of people, like, where does the concentration come from, the ability to really focus on such big goals? I, did, I didn't realize that I had the ability to focus on running for eight hours a day, or running a marathon, or running a thousand miles, or whatever the situation was. 
I, I just discovered that within me, I had the ability to focus for very long periods of time. And that translated not only physically, but also with any task that I get myself involved in. I have an ability to focus intensely for very long periods of time. You know, I'm a big-hearted guy for the most part, but don't stand between me and my next goal. Uh, I've been waiting my whole life to, to have a child, and that's, that's been a huge goal for me. And I don't look at Tontine as something that's coming between me and anxiously awaiting the birth of my child. I see Tontine as an opportunity to meet the goal of having a child head-on. Hey, Rick. Yeah, it's Bob. Listen, I've been thinking about... Uh your reality show. The fact that you need a hundred days off of work, eh, it's kind of interesting. You know you're going to have to uh, turn in the, the Mercedes and the credit card. And I don't know what you're going to do about the house, but, you know, I'm afraid we can't cover you on the house for the for the hundred days. So I think you're going to have to move your stuff out of that as well. Uh, listen, so just take care of those things. Best of luck, buddy. 4 7 p.m. Monday. End of messages. Well, honey, what do you think? Honey, let's do it. This is crazy. But I'm in. Good, Daddy. Win 10 team.